The new Full Plus model puts more emphasis on the family doctor seeing patients for in-person visits. Unfortunately, this has the unintended consequence of incentivizing family doctors to keep smaller practices and see their patients more frequently for single issue visits. I have a much more complex and granular full plus calculator, but it can be overwhelming and distracting. Suffice to say, it looks at all the details, the time, the shadow billing in and out of the basket, the phone calls, the after hours, the bonuses, and even includes the 25% extra admin time in the full plus. Let's take an average 1,300 patient practice. Under the current full model, we usually do longer multi-issue visits. So the average patient is visiting in about three times per year, and our average visit length is about 20 minute visits. In the full plus calculator, this shows that the overall revenue would be $483,000 per year in annual revenue. But under the full plus model, the math will show here that it incentivizes short, frequent, single issue visits. Uh, the visit frequency for the average patient could easily double to six times per year, likely more. And if we therefore reduce our visit length to 10 minutes per visit instead of 20 minutes per visits, the overall results show that in the full plus model, this would generate $566,000 per year in annual revenue. Alternatively, to make that same $483,000 per year in the original example, with current full practices and 20 minute visits, if we switch things to just do quick 10 minute visits, then the math shows you only need a roster of 1,075 patients to make that same $483,000 per year. That's 17% less patients, a 17% smaller roster. Here's the key point. That 1,075 roster is 17% smaller and therefore has 17% less paperwork than the 1,300 patient roster. This is because no matter the practice style, no matter if the doctor does multi-issue visits or quick single-issue visits, each patient still requires the same amount of tests and referrals and then the same amount of receiving and interpreting all those results per year. This is a key point of understanding why it's better to keep a smaller roster and simply see the patients more often. Less paperwork for the same amount of money. If we contrast each of these scenarios with the old faux numbers, the original faux model, it's important to realize that the faux plus still does better in each scenario. But what I'm pointing out here is that the faux model incentivizes us to do shorter, single issue, quick, frequent visits in order to optimize the doctor's return on our time. The new faux plus model incentivizes volume of visits and unfortunately disincentivizes efficiency, delegation, and scalability. For better or much more likely worse, this is the way the government wants it.